our goal is to be the iconic sports car company and our design mission statement is to produce breathtaking products that visually describe their function. Our current design process is probably much like any other supercar manufacturer. We sketch around the brief, exploring interior and exterior themes. From that we typically go into CAS, which is computer-aided surfacing, or into clay models. They'll start to develop it and give it some 3D texturing. We use a power wall throughout the whole process. Power wall being a full-size screen, it's back projected. We can actually show the car on the deck at ride height, so we can get a very realistic understanding of what the car's going to look like on the road, basically. Um, we can spin that model round, we can look at all views of it, we can zoom in on it. So the next stage then is to turn the digital models into a physical model. We usually do 40% scale models to start with, but it also scales up into full size when we've chosen the single theme. The key to it for me is believability. We want to be able to believe in what we see and then we can confidently make the right design decision. The high fidelity real-time rendering ability of Unreal Engine is giving us that believability. That's the key to it. VR enables you to look at the execution of those detail areas without having to make separate desktop models. Uh, you can check the gap and flush, fill it sizes, radiuses. On the interior, it allows us to sit inside the environment, immerse ourselves in there. And with the tools that we have, we can actually check uh, reach zones, uh, head clearances by combining VR with some physical elements. We can be walking around a virtual car and making very confident design decisions because we've got something that is very, very believable. We've got a good design process that works well, tried and tested. Um, we believe we can now improve on that by using Unreal Engine. So the dream would be to be stood there sketching around either over the top of a clay model or sketching over the top of cast data and actually describing what the next step is, draw the section on over the fenders, show how we can shrink wrap the panels down over the engineering package, peel away some of the VR data to expose where the radiator positions are so you can understand how much more you can shrink wrap it. A really interactive, very fluid, like dynamic process by buying us more time and making the design process leaner within the same amount of time that we currently use, like that clearly opens up more opportunity for innovation, more discussion with suppliers, and therefore a better product, more advanced product to the market.